Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video because we're gonna be trying out a bunch of new Indian food items that I've never tried. So I got some new dishes, some new little snack appetizers, and even a dessert. So we got a lot of stuff, eight items, and the total was $70. It smells amazing. I just picked it up. So this place is called Bombay and it's a very popular Indian restaurant in my area. It's got great ratings. It's like a 4.7 star. It smells amazing in there. It's kind of like buffet style. So it's really cool inside and they had a decorated for Christmas still. I love that. I see a Christmas tree and it just makes me happy. So we got some Bombay chicken soup. I'm gonna say it now. I'm probably gonna pronounce some of these words wrong and I'm so sorry. I brought my camera and then when I started to film, it said, you can't, no memory card. So I did not check when I was leaving. I, I put a new battery in and everything and I swear I saw the memory card in there. But we're recording on my iPhone today, which I feel like the quality actually kind of looks better. So I can't look at my phone for the pronunciation and all of that. So I'm probably gonna screw some of this up, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen anyways. So we got the Bombay chicken soup, a car, achar a car garlic naan carrot pudding this one is kofa, kofa. i'm not even going to try and pronounce that and then we have chicken zelfrizi and then shahai shahai paneer and then corn nuggets <laughs> i know i butchered those really bad but let's start opening up everything oh so here's the carrot pudding it looks like Look at that. So that's the dessert, so we're gonna save that. And I love how they wrap everything in foil because it's all still so hot. Ooh, okay. Oh, that smells amazing. I believe this is the corn nuggets. And then we have garlic naan, the best stuff ever. Love it. Big thing of rice. This must have came with one of the meals. Oh, and some more rice came with the other meal. Ooh, those are hot. Whole bunch of containers we got. It's like moments like these where I really wish I still had my car table. <laughs> and I live 30 minutes from this place, so they didn't do delivery. So I feel like it was just easier to do it in my car anyways. Mm, okay, let's try these corn nuggets. They're literally... Mmm, that breading. It's literally stuffed with corn and cheese. Hmm. What do we dip it in? Maybe this green sauce? Let's try it. Mmm. I was so hungry, you guys. It's five o'clock. And I had yogurt for breakfast and I went to the gym and I had a few like little snacks. I was so hungry and so excited to get this today. Those are good. And I love corn. Mm. I wish this stuff had labels on it because I'm not sure what they all are. Ooh. Okay, so this one... I believe is the one with like chicken and peppers and onion with lots of spices and veggies. Let's give this a try. Mmm. There's broccoli in here too. Ooh, we need to open up the garlic naan. Let me know down in the comments right now what your favorite Indian food is. I think mine is chicken tiki masala with the garlic naan, of course. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Ooh, diddly. It smells so good and garlicky. I love garlic. I'm going to take some of this. Do a little dunk. I made vodka pasta last night and I had no garlic. I'm like, oh, garlic's like my favorite ingredient, but it was still really, really good. Mm-hmm. So this one's definitely a thicker sauce. 
and it's like tomatoey kind of same texture as tomato soup too mm. i like all the peppers and stuff in there now let's try this one who else saves saves these containers they're like perfect for leftovers. I've I've been saving my containers every single time now. And then I use them a couple times and then I'll throw them away. It's really nice. Okay, let's see this one. Is this the cheese balls? Oh, I think this is the cheese balls. Look at that. So my question is, how do you eat this one? Do you just go in like a meatball? Mmm. It tastes like a meatball. Put some on here. Mm. That's good. It's like super, super soft. So I just paused my phone so I could read the description. And I think this one's definitely vegetable and cheese balls. Can't go wrong with that. Mmm. One of my favorite things about Indian food, I love how much curry comes with it. Because I love my food being more wet. So, I love how you get a whole container of it. I can't believe how much stuff they had on the menu, though. They had chicken wings, a pizza with salmon on it. Like a whole lot. Look at me steaming up the window. <laughs> so I just went through and picked out everything that I thought sounded really good. <laughs> Every time a window is fogged like this, I, I have to draw on it. Same with in the shower. I always draw on the shower door. I used to draw full on pictures too when I was younger. Like I've always loved drawing and being creative, but I can't draw. I have horrible, horrible handwriting too. I'm gonna have leftovers four days okay so this one is homemade Indian cheese in a creamy sauce with spices cheese so this is all just cheese oh yeah that's good cheese and sauce I know I call it sauce and I know that's incorrect. I keep catching myself doing that. Mm. Everything is still burning hot too. I feel like that's always how Indian food is because I got a text saying that my DoorDash like order pickup was going to be ready at 4.45 and I was going to leave my house like 30 minutes before and then at 4.10 I got a text saying that it was ready for pickup. So I'm like, shoot, I'm going to be a little bit late. I hope it's not too cold. And it's still burning hot. <laughs> mm, I really like this one. Like this and butter chicken or tiki masala. These cheese, fried cheeses kind of. That would be good. Mm. That's really good. Tastes like a cheese stick. I had a cheese stick 
right before I left. <laughs> a girl and her cheese. Thank God I'm not lactose intolerant. <gasps> Did I just do that? Or was that there the whole time? We'll cover it with some hair. <laughs> Thank gosh I'm not lactose intolerant because I eat way too much cheese. Way too much cheese. And I love chocolate milk too. But like a cheese board is definitely my favorite thing at a party. And if it's not going to be at the party, I have to make one because a cheese board is just a need at a gathering. Even if it's just like a few people. I'm like, cheese board? Can I make a cheese board? I actually really enjoy making cheese boards too. So in my fridge, I always have cheese stocked up because cheese that's packaged up doesn't go bad for a while, usually like a few months. So I just always stock up. in my hair. Indian food is definitely more on the messy, messy side to eat in your car. But I had to, I wanted to try it right away. Oh yeah, some rice, I want some rice. Forgot I had this and the other one. These are some good containers too. <laughs> this is like the type of container Chipotle needs to get. I cannot stand their containers. And I, I keep seeing that when you get Chipotle, you're supposed to flip your bowl upside down into the, the foil side, so the lid. And apparently then your food doesn't get soggy. I'm like, is that true? If someone works at Chipotle, can you leave a comment down below if you've heard of that? Because I don't know about that. Cause then you can't microwave it cause it's obviously foil. Yeah, I don't know. People come up with these like hacks and I think it's just made up. But I did see at Chick-fil-A, if you go early in the morning right after breakfast And you can say, do you have any samples or free food samples, I think you say. And then they're allowed to give you anything left over because once it's after breakfast, they, I guess, throw everything away. So if you ask for a free sample, they'll give you it. What? You need to turn the heat on. It's getting a little chilly. Sorry if you guys can hear that, but probably hides the noise of my chewing a little bit. <laughs> which I always chew with my mouth shut or at least try to for the most part because I don't like the noises of chewing that much. At least if the mouth is shut, it doesn't gross me out that bad, but you can still really hear it. Like the camera just really picks it up. But I think lots of people like that noise. It's like soothing before bed. I watch YouTube and mukbangs before bed every single night. Carrot pudding. Hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like it's like a sweet potato with cinnamon on it. But it's carrots. So it's just ground up carrots with spices, it seems like. Definitely interesting. I think this is dessert. I'm pretty sure this is dessert. Watch it be like food for a baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it said it was in the dessert category. Yeah, this one's not my favorite. Like, I feel like it needs to be like a mixed in with something. It's very carroty, so if you like carrots, it's definitely probably healthy. Carrots help your eyesight. 
I think that's a myth though because I can't see and I've been debating debating on getting LASIK but I don't know I'm like so scared because they don't put you to sleep they just I know they give you like relaxing medicine beforehand but you're still awake and then they ply your eyeball open and that just sounds really really scary but when I went snowboarding I took my goggles off for a little bit and the snowflakes literally scratched up my contact contacts both of them I could not blink without crying and they burned so so bad so I had to take them out so I took them out threw them away and couldn't see the rest of the trip it was like at the end like I was done snowboarding I couldn't snowboard without my sunglasses I mean <laughs> my sunglasses my contacts but the whole car ride home I was in the passenger seat I was not driving I could not I like my vision's a negative 1.5 in this eye or 1.25 and then this one's a negative 2.5 so it's not horrible vision I could definitely still never drive so I was in the passenger seat and I'm just like watching the road and it's so blurry it's like making me motion sick because it's just all so blurry and I was getting a headache because it was blurry and it just really stinks to not be able to see people who have 20-20 vision you are so lucky so lucky like to wake up and it just be blurry Even like when you go to the beach or the pool, you rub your eyes or you open your eyes underwater or just like, you know, splash of water gets in your eye. Like you can barely rub your eye because you don't want to lose your contact. So it's always a good idea to bring a spare pair on vacation or at least have your glasses with you. I don't like wearing my glasses that much. So I'll wear them like in bed when I'm watching TV. But other than that, they just bother me. Mm. Yeah, my eyelashes touch the lenses and I just feel like they always slide down on my nose, which maybe they just don't fit me right, but they were fitted at the eye doctor. I just don't see why insurance doesn't pay for LASIK. Maybe some insurances do, actually, because I know everyone gets different benefits, but... I don't think mine covers any of my my eye stuff. I get like $100 off a year on my contacts or something like that. <laughs> Better than nothing, but LASIK I know is expensive. And it's not even like it's cosmetic, you know? Like I get if you're getting like a nose job for cosmetic reasons, like okay, yeah, but LASIK, like, I didn't choose to not be able to see. <laughs> and my brother has 20-20 vision. So it's crazy how, like, some people just get really bad eyesight. And really good. Which, again, mine's not even that bad. It's still bad enough where I can't see or, like, do anything. But some people I know, my mom, I think, is... Actually, no, my mom's friend is at like a negative six or something, which is really blurry. <laughs> is that everything? It is. Okay. My favorite. Hmm. My top three favorites, we'll say. It bothers me so much when I have a stain on my shirt in my video. I love these corn balls. These are so good and I love the breading that's on them. It's super sweet and I love corn. So I'd say those are my favorite. And then I love this homemade Indian cheese in the creamy sauce. Really yummy. And then garlic naan I have to put in my top three just because it's so good. This one, the chicken with the peppers and everything in it. It's good, but butter chicken and chicken tiki masala, definitely still my favorite entree. And these cheesy vegetable balls. Oh wait, 
that's these, the cheesy vegetable balls. Those are good too. I would get those again as like an appetizer. I liked those a lot. They kind of just taste like a meatball, which meatballs do have a little bit of veggies in it and no cheese, but the carrot pudding, I would have to maybe skip on that next time. Let me know which dessert I should try next. I saw that they had lots of like ice creams and stuff. I think there was a pistachio one, but since I was picking up the food and then also I would, I would have eaten the ice cream last, I felt like it would have melted. I could have just set it outside my car door, honestly. I could have done that. I, I should have done that. It's 14 degrees out. I could have set my ice cream outside there, <laughs> make sure no one touches it, and then grab it at the end. Well, if you would like to see a part two trying more Indian foods and desserts, let me know. Or if there's another culture or type of food you'd like to see me try out next, just leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.